Been going for about an hour and a half now. Seems to be working fine. Got it hooked up to this little 150 watt inverter. Just quickly to show you the connection to the battery bank and the panels. But the chicken's falling off the bone. Everything's tender. Four and a half hours. Okay. Dump those in. Okay, and here's the quick setup in the back room. I've got the crock pot on and cooking. It's been going for about an hour and a half now. Seems to be working fine. Got it hooked up to this little 150 watt inverter. Cable from that gets plugged into a socket. Over to the battery bank. In this case, just two deep cycle batteries. And that's being charged by the 90 watts I have outside right now. So 90 watts coming in over to the battery bank actually goes through that little charge controller first around to the cable to the inverter to the food give you a close up on this kind of a cool little inverter it's even got the 5 volt socket on the edge fanless inverter it's on high right now 60 watts on low 90 on high just a quick note about cooking on battery banks this is the best way I've found to do it because it doesn't pull that many watts per hour. On low it's like 60 watts, high 90. So two batteries can easily handle 90, that's like 45 watts of battery. That's not bad, especially when you got the 90 watts coming in. Here's a close up. Ah, it got all foggy. Okay, there it is guys. It's all done. Four and a half hours. I checked the meat, carrots, potatoes, all perfectly done. So not a bad way to cook a meal on a couple of solar panels. But the chicken's falling off the bone. Everything's tender. Four and a half hours. And all I used was water, salt, pepper, um, the four vegetables, carrots, celery, potatoes, and onion, and the chicken legs. It's honestly the best crock pot meal I've had in years, too. That's really all there is to it. It's a great way to cook on a battery bank because you're not drawing too much wattage 